This video is for Math 261 Applied Calculus 1. This is the last example of Section 4.1, Example 7, Life Science, Fossil Fuel Displacement. So in 2013, the rate of change in the amount of fossil fuel displaced, not needed, globally of electric vehicles ha can be approximated by Okay, what are they saying here? Yes, they're saying that we're not using as much as fossil fuel because of electric cars like or Tesla. Okay, okay. But anyways, so what I noticed about this function is that this is d prime of t. This function is a is a derivative function. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna read this entire function, but okay, here it is. What are we doing with this? Where d prime of t is in thousands of barrels of fossil fuel displaced per year, and t is the number of years since 2013. In 2016, approximately 24,638,000 barrels of fossil fuels were displaced globally. Did you see what they just did? They gave us an initial condition. Now, look at year 2016. 2016 is three years from 2013, right? So when t is three, when t is three, d of t or d of three, is equal to 24,638,000 barrels of fossil fuel. So that orange part that I highlighted, I don't like the look of this D. I'll change this one prettier. Okay, they gave us an initial condition, right? So we're going to be able to use that when we are finding um, the function D of T that models the amount of fossil fuel displayed t years since 2013. So let's get right on to it. So what we're going to say is d of t is equal to the antiderivative of d prime of t. Makes perfect sense, right? We're telling them that we're going to go backward. We're going to find the antiderivative of this function. Just the numbers are big, but then the rule that we are using is still the same. Let me patiently wait. I write this function down. Oh. Don't forget to put dt after it. You know what I just did? I went up to the previous problem to remember, make sure that I wrote that dt. But we did, I did. So let's start one at a time, okay? So if you look at the first term, 1696 t to the third power. That's going to turn into, if you take the antiderivative, 1696 t to the what power? <laughs> Fourth power divided by four. All right, let's keep going. Next term. How about I go back to my colorful term? Okay, that's going to be minus fourteen thousand ninety-one ninety-one t to the third power. But don't forget to divide that by 3. You always go up 1 on the power and you divide by the new exponent. That's the power rule. Oh gosh, this allergy is killing me. Okay, next term. This one. So I'm going to have plus 30,420 T squared right because it used to be t to the first power but don't forget to divide that by the new power of 2 and the very last term which is just a constant all I'm going to do is just put 
minus 7808 T. And don't forget, please don't forget to put the constant of integration plus C. That plus C. Now let's see if I can simplify this by dividing some of these numbers, okay? 1696 divided by 4 is 424 t to the fourth power. 14091 divided by 3 is. I feel so happy this morning. Look at that. These numbers are coming out just perfect. Cute. 30,420 divided by 2 is. 15,210 t squared minus 7808 t plus c. Now, but what did we find out? Um, this is t of t. We didn't find out anything. We just were given that the initial condition was t of 3 equals 24,000. I'm not going to write it again. I just, I, I remember, I wrote it down above here. So this is time for us to use that initial condition. Okay? So that means if I plug in 3 everywhere, 424 times 3 cubed, I'm going to plug in 3 everywhere, minus 46, 97, times 3 cubed, right, next, plus 15,210 times 3 squared, lastly, minus 7808 times 3, and you plus C, all of this will equal what? All of this will equal, they said, 24,638. So what I'm going to do now, oh, how beautiful our work is, you guys. Let me make it a little bit smaller, though. I'm going to go ahead and get my calculator to evaluate what this is. Because this is just a number, isn't it? So, 24... 638 equals, we'll go ahead and plug this into my calculator. When I type that in, I got 20,991 plus C. And to solve for C, all I need to do is subtract both sides by 20,991. So what's that going to be? Typing this in carefully. C comes out to be 3647. So we can write the D of T function. Mm, I'm going to go in and just write it on a separate sheet of paper, okay? So D of T equals 424 T to the fourth power. Minus seventy six ninety seven T cubed plus fifteen two hundred and ten T squared minus seventy eight zero eight T plus a beautiful C of thirty six forty seven. Yay, we found the function. So I think that was what A was asking. Let me go scroll back up. They said find the function d of t, and we did that. Next one, part b is asking, maybe I can just copy part b because we're about to do it over here. Part b, estimate the amount of fuel that is that will be displaced in 2020. Okay, that's not a problem. So t is how many years since uh, I forgot how many years since what? Since 2013. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 2013 
from 2020 and isn't that just seven right oh, this is so early in the morning can't trust myself okay seven so what we're going to do is we're going to simply plug in seven into our d of t that we found above i'll write it down but i will stop the video and type it in my scientific calculator so that you don't have to wait for me plus 13 to 10 times t7 squared minus 78 0 8 7 times 7 plus 36 47 so go ahead and type that in your scientific calculator and let's come up with an answer okay the answer came out to be 101,234, but oh, I forgot the units. Was it gallons? I think it was like in thousands, wasn't it? Let me go grab the or find the unit from above. The unit was in thousand barrels of fossil fuels. Oh, goodness. So the unit was thousand barrels of fossil fuels. So that's it. So how much is that really? So this is equal to 101,234,000 barrels, whoopsie, not rails, barrels of fossil fuel. And that is it for section 4.1.